Hey, what's up sports fans? Welcome back to DFW Sports Flow. I'm actually sitting in my truck and I'm sitting here listening to, uh, you know, to reports that uh, Peyton Manning just got released and all that good stuff and uh, listening to him talk and you can tell he's emotional. Um, what can I say, man? I can't blame the guy. Uh, all of his career has been with the Colts. So to see him go is definitely going to be, you know, it's going to be a hard pill to swallow for, for, uh, for Indianapolis, but uh, who knows? Anyway, I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about the franchise tag on Anthony Spencer. Um, this is actually good, Cowboy fans. Regardless of uh, you know what anyone else might think, this is actually pretty good because you get your 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 starting outside linebacker back, and uh, you know you're giving him another shot in the uh, in the Rob Ryan system. So. You know this can't be bad. I mean, it's it's definitely better than bringing in somebody new, who has to learn the system, might not fit the system, and then all of a sudden you got a four to five year contract on your hands with a guy that's out ultimately not producing. You release that guy, and then you got numbers that hit the salary cap, and ultimately, you know, that's what's biting the Cowboys in the rear right now, um, with contracts like you know that of uh, Marion Barber, Roy Williams. You know, guys that didn't pan out that, uh, you know, now we're, we're sitting here um, and we got to eat those numbers. But with Anthony Spencer, um, you get you get a one-year deal. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a little expensive. It's uh, I think they said it's $8.8 .8 $8 million. Uh, that's a lot for, uh, you know, no, someone who's never more than six sacks. But it's good because it's only one year. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't... Um, you know, if it doesn't pan out, if he doesn't produce more, you can cut ties with him. I mean, it's not a long-term contract. Now, the Cowboys are discussing, you know, bringing him back for a, a long-term contract, but I say wait till after the season, see what Anthony Spencer brings to the table, if he brings anything to the table. I mean, he's ranked as the NFL's best run-stopping linebacker, but, you know, Cowboy fans don't want a run-stopper. We want somebody to get pressure on the quarterback, and... I mean, he can do it. I think it needs to be, I think that the defensive line needs to be addressed. And then you might see Anthony Spencer shine. But, you know, this one-year deal with the, uh, with the franchise tag gives the, uh, gives the franchise an opportunity to groom somebody behind Spencer if he's not going to be the answer. And ultimately, you know, if, if he is the answer or if he, if, he do, if he does surprise you, if he does come out better, then you can go ahead and sign him for a long-term contract. But, you know, until that happens, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, that's all I got for right now. Uh, keep reading the blogs. I appreciate the support from, from everyone through Twitter and Facebook and, and WordPress. And thank you for checking out the YouTube channel. I'm Jesus Flores for DFW Sports Flow. Thank you for watching.